Good evening everybody, welcome back to my channel, thank you all for tuning in. Tonight I want to go over my favorite and least favorite song off of every album from one of my favorite bands to come out of the 1990s, that being the Foo Fighters. So, let's jump right into this, I don't feel like I need to introduce the Foo Fighters. Starting with their very first album that came out in 1995, um, I love this album too. Uh, this is a call, Big Me, Weenie Beanie, and Watershed are kind of the contenders for me. Um, oh man, I think I would give the, the edge to this as a call, but any one of those four could be it on a different day. My least favorite, I think, comes down to either For All the Cows or Ecstatic. Both songs are still good, though. Um, I'd say Ecstatic's probably my least favorite, so I'm gonna go with This Is a Call is my favorite and Ecstatic is my least favorite. Next up, we have the second studio album, The Color and the Shape, released in 1997. Another fantastic Foo Fighters album. My favorite songs on here are actually the big hits. Monkey Wrench, My Hero, and Everlong with Monkey Wrench from me taking the cake. Uh, I just was hooked on that song the first time that I bought this album. And I played it to death. Uh, I still think Monkey Wrench is just a really, really cool song. Least favorite song, maybe a bit of a cop out, but I'm going to go with Doll. So my favorite song, Monkey Wrench, and my least favorite, Doll. Next up is the third studio album, released in 1999, There Is Nothing Left to Lose. This is my favorite Foo Fighters album, and this is my favorite album of all time. So, picking the least favorite is going to be virtually impossible. Picking a favorite is also virtually impossible. Um, my least favorite is actually, um, I hate to say this too, uh, Breakout. And it's just process of elimination i think i just the other 10 percent the other 10 songs i just prefer a little bit more but i still think breakout is a great song and breakout would be like a top four or five song on like almost every other foo fighters album to me my my favorite song on here oh gosh it could it could be any of these on like any given day stacked actors learn to fly give me stitches generator aurora Next Year, Headwires, Ain't It The Life. I mean, this is my favorite album for a reason. But, I'm gonna go with Livin' Skin. I really dig that song. I don't I don't think there's too many other people out there who feel that way about Livin' Skin that I do, but I love that song. The riff is really cool. And I guess it was added to the album like last minute because Dave came up with that riff and he wanted to include it on the album. So he kind of wrote the song in, I want to say two hours if I remember correctly. Uh, but it's a great song. I love it. I love the riff. It's just a really cool track. So I'm going to go with Live and Skin is my favorite and Breakout is my least favorite. Next up, we're going with an album that I think is extremely underrated. That is One by One, the fourth studio album released in 2002. Uh, man, this album I think is really underrated. It does have a couple tracks in the middle I'm not that crazy about. That would be Disenchanted Lullaby and Tired of You. I would have to give Tired of You the... Uh, honor of being my least favorite track on here my favorite song though any of the first four plus overdrive would be the contenders i think i would have to give the edge mm. i think i'm gonna give the edge to overdrive actually really cool song kind of feels like it could have been off of uh there's nothing left to lose maybe but i'm gonna go with overdrive as my favorite and tired of you as my least favorite Next up, we have the double album, In Your Honor, released in 2005, the fifth studio album. My favorite song on this album, the contenders would be No Way Back, Best of You, DOA, Miracle, and Cold Day in the Sun. And I think I would have to give the edge to No Way Back because it is a song that really got me into the Foo Fighters. I had it on um, whatever, whatever madden soundtrack it was on madden 05 or whatever it was and i just remember getting hooked on that song to the point i went into the settings and i turned every other song off except for the no way back and a faith no more song so i just played those two songs on repeat the entire time i was playing the video game um yeah i'm gonna have to give no way back the edge there my least favorite i don't really care much for virginia moon it's probably one of my one of my least favorite food fighter songs of all time I uh, was never a big fan of it. Not really my cup of tea. So I'm going to go No Way Back is my favorite and Virginia Moon is my least favorite. 
The sixth studio album released in 2007, Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace, another great Foo Fighters album. My favorite Foo Fighters song is on this album, that being Long Road to Ruin, so that one takes the cake for me, being my favorite. My least favorite, um, I like every song in here, but I'm going to go with a bit of a cop-out and say The Ballad of the Beck and Field Miners. Still a cool little tune, though. I'm going to go with Long Road to Ruin is my favorite. Then Ballad of the Beckenfield Miners, my least favorite. Next up, we have the seventh studio album released in 2011, that being Wasting Light. Many people consider this to be like a top um, three or so Foo Fighters album. Uh, here's my hot take of the night. I'm not a crazy fan of this album. I don't, It's not a bad album, don't get me wrong. I think it's a good album. I just never really got it being one of my three favorite Foo Fighters albums or anything like that. Uh, my favorite song on here, it comes down to Rope, White Limo, and Back and Forth. And, uh, mm, I'm not, oh, I'm going to go with White Limo. That song just really rocks out. White Limo is my favorite. Um, my least favorite, there's a few on here. I'm actually not really that fond of Burning Bridges or Bridge Burning. Um, Miss the Misery, I'm actually not crazy about either, but I have to say my least favorite is probably I Should Have Known. So, we'll go with that. White Limo is my favorite, and I Should Have Known is my least favorite. Next up, we have the 8th studio album, released in 2014, Sonic Highways. Uh, I, I think this album is actually quite enjoyable. I think it could have been better. Um, yeah, it, it, it could have been a better album, in my opinion. They... I think it's the lyrics is what really makes this album really awkward. I mean, I kind of I think what David Grawl was going for was kind of cool, trying to tell the story of of each of these cities through the lyrics. Um, and he got the lyrics from interviews that he did on the the documentary. So I, it was actually kind of a cool idea and, and a pretty artistic approach to writing the lyrics. But just listening to the album, I think the lyrics make like no sense. They're just they're like way too abstract to really. And they don't really, in my opinion, convey the story of the cities. Like, I don't get I don't get the story. I don't get what city it's attached to just from listening to the lyrics. And then it's, like, too abstract to, to like, try to put your own meaning into it. So I think that's what really is my trip up with this album. It's still a good album for what it is. Um, my favorite on here is The Feast and the Famine. I think that's a pretty rocking tune. My least favorite, I'd have to go with Subterranean, but still not a bad song. Uh, I think this is an album that could have been better than it was, but uh, as it is, it's still a pretty good, pretty pretty fun album to listen to every now and then. So I'm going to go Feast and Famine, my favorite. Subterranean is my least favorite. That brings us to the ninth studio album, released in 2017, Concrete and Gold. And this is my least favorite Foo Fighters album, uh, pretty easily, actually. My favorite song on here by... No... Eh, Pretty easily, actually, is Happy Ever After Zero Hour. That song just reminds me of, of Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace for some reason. I think that's why it's my favorite song. But uh, I do like Sky is the Neighborhood and The Line. Those are like the other two contenders. But I would say Happy Ever After is pretty definitely my favorite. My least favorite, there's some contenders on here. T-shirt, Make It Right, Sunday Rain, Sorry Taylor, and Concrete and Gold with an outside shot to dirty water um i oh i'm sorry taylor may may he rest in peace i can hardly sit through sunday rain i just don't care for that one i don't know that i can pinpoint what it is about it but i just i, I can never get into that one that one was a chore to sit through the first time i ever heard it and i've just it has not grown on me in any way so i'm gonna have to go with Sunday Rain is my least favorite, and Happy Ever After as my favorite. Next up, we have the 10th studio album, released in 2021, Medicine at Midnight. Um, I think this is a bit of a bounce back after Concrete and Gold. I like this one quite a bit better, actually. Um, my favorite song comes down to the album opener, Making a Fire, or the album closer, Love Dies Young. I kind of tend to go back and forth between those two, but I'm going to give the edge to Making a Fire. My least favorite song on here, I don't really think there's a bad song, to be honest with you. 
I think the Foo Fighters, um, I think the Foo Fighters did a pretty good job of trimming off of any filler that would be on this album. But my least favorite song, I think I would go with Chasing Birds, but it's still a pretty decent track. So Medicine at Midnight, Making a Fire is my favorite, and Chasing Birds my least favorite. That brings us to the most recent studio album, but here we are, released just last year in 2023. Um, a great album. In my opinion, it's their best album since Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Um, I think most people would probably say it was their best album since Wasting Light, but either way, best album in a decade. I don't think a whole lot of people would disagree with that. And there's a lot of good songs in here, and there's a lot of songs on here, honestly, that probably like half this album, I could say, are like the, the best songs that they've done since 2009, um, at least in my opinion. You got Rescued, you've got Under You, you've got the title track, you've got Show Me How, The Teacher. But my favorite song here is The Glass. That one really uh, hit me pretty hard when I first heard it. I mean, of course, I felt the emotions in Rescued when that one first dropped. I thought Under You was great when it first dropped, but when I first heard The Glass, I was like, wow, what a great song. My least favorite song in here is probably Rest. I think it's it, it's the perfect closer to this album just because of what it means and what this album is sort of um, representing to the band. Uh, so I think it is like the perfect album closer, but I think as a standalone track, it's probably my least favorite on the album. So I'm going to go with The Glass as my favorite and uh, Rest as my least favorite. So let me know in the comments below how um, your favorite least favorite Foo Fighter song from every album if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future, and I'll catch you next time.